Hey everyone, Taylor Stein, Fusion 360 Evangelist here with some quick sculpting tips. Today I'll be showing you some of my biggest tips for creating really clean sculpted models when it might feel like you've backed yourself into a corner and things are starting to get a bit messy. So let's get to it. Here's my Fusion 360 model. What I want to do is I want to use Mirror Duplicate to duplicate this body on the bottom half. So typically if I choose Mirror Duplicate and click on this bottom plane right here, It'll create a duplicate and it'll weld some vertices together, but we'll see that it really doesn't look clean. And why is it doing this? If I hit cancel and look at it from the side, we'll see it's because this bottom edge loop right here isn't perfectly flat. And this happens to everyone. This happens when you're just sculpting and you're not paying too much attention to what you may be doing with each vertice. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can fix that. So first what I'm going to do is we can double click on one of these edges and select the entire loop choose edit form and now we can scale it up or down using this manipulator right here. Scaling it up exaggerates that curve that's in it but if I scale it down to zero what happens is it totally flattens it out. So now I have a perfectly flat outer loop right here which is really going to help me for creating a really clean model. So the next step is showing you how to create a plane based on this flat edge and there's two ways to do it. Um, I'm going to show you both in this video. The first one we can do is create a plane through three points and now that this is perfectly flat, I can choose any three points I want and create a construction plane that goes through this flat edge that I have. Now if I choose Mirror Duplicate under Symmetry, I can choose my body and choose my recently created plane. And what that's going to do is it's going to duplicate this body about that plane, stitch them together, and actually add some symmetry here shown by the green line. So now if I go ahead and move this around, you'll see that it does perform it on the bottom half too. To show you the other way, what I want to do is show you how I would now duplicate all of this on the left hand side. Again, this curve that I have right here isn't perfectly flat, so I'll select the entire loop, choose Edit Form, and now what I'm going to do is flatten this out, and I want to flatten it to this line that's already straight already. So to do that, I'm going to reorient my triad and reorient to this point right here. I'll lock it in, and now all of my Edit Form manipulation is about this point right here. So now if I scale up or down, we'll see that it scales relative to that point. I'm going to scale it all the way down to zero, and now I have another perfectly flat edge right here. This is exactly what I want, and now I'll show you the other way to actually line this up with a plane. So if I turn on my origin, we'll see that this edge loop right here isn't aligned with the existing plane. What I can do is under the Modify drop-down menu, I can choose Align and align any of these points to this plane. It doesn't matter, being that they're all perfectly flat. So I'll choose this point and this plane, and it moves my body so that this outer edge loop is now aligned with this plane. I'll turn off my origin, go back to symmetry and choose mirror duplicate, choose my body, and for the mirror plane, I'll choose this plane that we aligned this edge to, click this plane, and now it creates a duplicate body, stitches it together, and we have even more symmetry. So now anything that we do over here is going to show up throughout the entire model. So that wraps up some of my favorite Fusion 360 sculpting tips. There's definitely some more to come, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Or if you want to reach out to me directly, or if you like just communicating in less than 140 characters, you can tweet me at this Twitter handle on the screen right here, Taylor underscore Stein. Thanks for watching.